Live from downtown Bakersfield, 23 ABC News starts now. A Democratic presidential candidate is making his way to Bakersfield today. A look at what you can expect for the get out the early vote rally. And a defamation suit filed by Monsignor Craig Harrison, but this time against the Roman Catholic Diocese of Fresno. The claims made by Harrison's attorney as he speaks out against the diocese. Good morning and thanks for joining us for 23 ABC News at 6 a.m. on this Friday. I'm Danielle Kernkamp. And I'm Danielle Garrido. In for Mike Hart, we're going to bring in CHP officer Robert Rodriguez with a look at your traffic. Thank you very much, Daniela. Good morning, everyone. Uh, through Bakersfield, uh, we are providing traffic control for uh, Jefferson Street at Haley Street uh, for structure fire in that area, so please try to avoid that area if at all possible. Also, no crashes to report here through Bakersfield, so good news. And those of you leaving town right now, so far so good. Those major routes are all in good shape. That's my look at traffic. Elena, we'll send it to you. All right, Robert, thank you so much. Happy Friday to you. And as you're waking up this morning, there are some showers trying to move through this morning, but really much of the rest of the day is dry and quiet while we wait for that storm to make its move. It's coming straight toward us tonight and all day tomorrow. So while we wait, you see in the overnight hours, we've had some clouds coming through and it looks like a significant amount of rain, but we've been so dry and relatively warm for so long that it's very light rain. If anything, most of this is evaporating. The areas of pink, a little bit of a slushy mix, but again, it may be a couple snowflakes drifting down at the very highest elevations. This is not accumulating snow and even tonight with the storm coming on shore, we're hard pressed to get snow out of it as well. And you see why we're just a little too warm for it. 54 in Keene right now, 49 here in Bakersfield, 46 in Jawbone Canyon, 48 up there at the top of Kernville. And looking ahead to later today, though not as warm as yesterday, which incredibly topped out at 79 here in Bakersfield, 76 for today, still well above average. We're typically at 64 this time of year. You are seeing those 60s in the mountains, low 70s into the desert today and then things really change tonight as that storm moves on shore that colder air rushes in I'll show you the hour by hour future cast with the rain and snow chances coming up we are following breaking news just coming into the 23 abc newsroom the usgs is reporting an earthquake just hit castaic in the last 20 minutes the usgs saying castaic was hit with a magnitude 3.5 quake at around 5 40 this morning castaic is just south of kern county near valencia in los angeles county right now there are no reports of any damage or injuries but we will continue to follow this story and bring you any updates as soon as they come into the 23 abc newsroom and Democratic presidential hopeful Bernie Sanders is coming to town this afternoon. Sanders is making an appearance at a rally at the Spectrum Amphitheater at the Park at Riverwalk. 23 ABC's Austin Westfall has a preview of what's to come. Bernie Sanders, the senator from Vermont whose grassroots campaign turned him into a household name four years ago, will be making a stop in Bakersfield for a rally today. This coming four months after he had to cancel an appearance at CSUB because he had a heart attack. I hope Bernie feels better. We're really disappointed that we didn't get to see him. I was super excited. Sanders took some time away from the campaign trail to recover, but it wasn't too long before he got back into the groove of things, pushing for the 2020 Democratic nomination. With the great medical care that I received, I am happy to report to you that I am more than ready. Sanders currently has a sizable lead over other Democratic candidates, according to a Washington Post and ABC News poll. This isn't his first trip to Bakersfield, the candidate holding a rally at the Kern County Fairgrounds when he was campaigning in 2016. Sanders speaking with 23ABC then about tuition prices. If you think that it's okay that hundreds of thousands of bright young people in this country cannot afford to go to college, uh, I think you can vote Republican because I don't think that's a good idea. Bernie's visit comes just two days after President Donald Trump paid a visit to Bakersfield, speaking with local farmers about water issues. At one point in his speech, Trump saying he believes the surging Mike Bloomberg will not be the 2020 Democratic candidate. Instead, we'll have to start working on crazy Bernie pretty soon. Today's rally is scheduled to start at 3.30 this afternoon at the Spectrum Amphitheater in Bakersfield. It's free and open to the public, and entrance is provided on a first-come, first-served basis. In Bakersfield, Austin Westfall, 23 ABC connecting you. And the attorney for Monsignor Craig Harrison has filed a defamation lawsuit in the Kern County Superior Court against the Roman Catholic Diocese of Fresno and its director of communications, Teresa Dominguez. According to the release from Harrison's attorney, Kyle Humphrey, the lawsuit claims def defamatory statements were made by the diocese spokeswoman regarding sexual misconduct allegations. In an article, she was quoted from an email saying she believed the allegations. The article states she visited one of the alleged victims and wrote 
in part, in quote, I personally expressed my concern for him, told him that I believed him, and apologized for the pain this matter has caused him, end quote. The lawsuit alleges that those remarks were made with false, defamatory, and reckless disregard. This lawsuit comes only days after the Fresno District Attorney's Office chose not to file charges against Harrison. And up and down California, there are historical sites dedicated to the state's gold rush roots. Now one woman is hoping to link all that land together as one national historic park with a visitor center in Placerville. It would be a partnership park like the Santa Monica Mountains National Recreation Area. All the various sites will still have different jurisdictions and ownership, but they will fall under the national park umbrella with a limited role for the federal government. And creating a gold rush national historic park would require congressional involvement. Local businesses along the grapevine may be seeing an increase in traffic as Kern County welcomes the first fast charging station for electric vehicles. A ribbon cutting ceremony will be held this morning to unveil the charge point charging stations, turning the Lebec Kern County area into a central hub for electric vehicle drivers traveling through California. The ceremony will take place at Tahone Ranch Best Western, that's 5521 Dennis McCarthy Drive in Lebec. The unveiling will last an hour starting at 10 o'clock this morning. CSUB is bringing back its own version of the popular reality show Shark Tank. It's the second edition of Techstars Startup Weekend. The 54-hour event is designed for creators to pitch their innovative ideas, build a prototype, and present their product to a panel of judges to compete for up to $30,000 in prizes. It starts today in the Student East Housing Multipurpose Room at CSUB, and it's free and open to the public. All ages are welcome. Plus, tickets still available for country music singer, songwriter, and actor Travis Tritt. Tritt, known for hits like Great Day to Be Alive, Best of Intentions, and Country Club. He'll be in downtown tonight at the Fox Theater. Doors open at 7 p.m. with the show starting at 8. You can get your tickets online or at the Fox Theater box office. We have a link to purchase that on our website, turnit23.com.